Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek11 Development and welcome to our weekly tutorial. And this week I'll be redoing a previous tutorial of where I created a scroll view. Now the reason I'm doing this is because when I created it, it was with a previous version of Xcode and a few of you are getting a bit confused when it comes to creating it in Xcode 4. So I'll be showing you that. So already in my project setup, it's a simple view based application and I've named it scroll view just for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing we want to do is add our IB outlet for our UI scroll view. So go to our view controller.h and just after the first curly bracket underneath, I'll just zoom in for you now. You can start by typing IB outlet space UI scroll view. space asterisk and then simply give the scroll view a name simply scroller and that with a semicolon so it's easy enough to understand and if you already know how to do it and you've seen the previous tutorial you will recognize it's exactly the same code but I'm just going to be showing you how to do an Xcode 4. So once you've done that you can save that then go to our scroll view controller.n and just here it may or may not be commented in your project, but if it is, just uncomment it in the view did load. So take away the asterisk and the forward slash and the same at the bottom here. And just above the super view did load, we simply type in bracket scroller, which is named our well which we named it, set scroll enabled, and in the ball we type in capital yes and that with a bracket in a semicolon. Then hit enter and again do bracket and scroller space set content size content size and then C capital C G size make and in the width here I'm just going to do the size of the iPhone which is 320 and the height I'm quickly do a thousand and then finish that with, after the bracket there with another bracket in a semicolon. So now if I, you can save that now. Now if you just zoom out and go to our view controller.xib, we're going to come back to the sizes as I'm going to show you something now. So just bring up all your objects and then locate the scroll view. Don't drag it into your project straight away. Just drag it onto the work surface next to it. And now if you stretch it down, you'll notice if I just zoom in, as you're stretching it down, you have the size at the top. Now, we've currently set it to 320 and to 1000. So if I made it all the way to 1000, which should be roughly about here now. So if I'm just going to the sizes up, up here. I'll set it to 1000 here. Now you notice it is quite long. So if I set it to a pretty decent size, so let's just say I wanted to scroll all the way up to 600. There. We go into our scroll view.m and just change the 1000 to 600. So now it's got the width of 320 and the height of 600. And that is exactly what we've got it set to here. Just make sure it's 320 across. There we go. So that will be our scroll view. So now if we place that into our project, you'll notice it is quite big, but because it's set because the scroll view is set to the size that we've set it in our view controller.m, it will not scroll. So knowing it's going to scroll to 600, we can make it as small as we want. So if I just put it to 200 and then place it in our project, so you have the scroll view just there and it will scroll all the way down to 600. Now just to prove that point, if we go back to 600, and then simply add in a button right at the bottom, and press a button at the top, and then pull it all the way back to 200, it's smack bang on there, and then we place it in our project, and once you've done that, click on Files Owner. And then simply drag the outlet of scroller to your scroll view. Save that and go straight to build and run. So 
Now once it's loaded, we click on our scroll view which is set in the middle and it will scroll all the way down to 600 which we set it to and it's right at the bottom. So as long as your scroll view is smaller than what you actually set it in the viewcontroller.m, it will enable you to scroll. So we've got our buttons at the top there, they all work and you can all link them up and create a nice little menu. But that's simply how you do it using Xcode 4. So I hope this solves a few problems for you, you guys who are having trouble. And so I hope this helped. And importantly, make sure you thumbs up the video. But thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekelement.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback. And follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out and most importantly if you haven't make sure you subscribe.